Hi, it's this is Tom place. Silver, hypnotist, we have and we're here at Pepperdine Sandra University. Pepperdine yeah. University in Malibu, beautiful Malibu Beach, California. Sandra we're going to be doing a hypnotism show, fundraiser for the American Brian. Cancer Association. And I'm also a cancer survivor, and I use my mind to help me with medicine to conquer, to become victorious in overcoming that disease we call cancer. And I went in with a very positive, happy attitude. So we're here, there's a bunch of young people. It's a fundraiser, and they're making money in this fundraiser, a walk-a-thon, and that is for cancer research, which is wonderful. I'm glad to be here. I'm Tom Silver. Number one, I am not a cancer survivor, I am a cancer victor. Absolutely. Because to me, a survivor, you know, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't do justice what we are. We are cancer fighters, cancer victors. Last year, I went in for a uh, regular physical, you know, like most of us do. And I went in for a few tests. And uh, when the tests were, were completed, the doctor told me, well, my cholesterol was a little high, but the bad news was he thought I had cancer. And when I, when I heard that, you know, it kind of shocked me. I'm thinking, oh, man, cancer. All the time I've already, uh, you know, I, when people talked about cancer, I thought, oh, man, cancer, that's a scary thing. You know, and we're always kind of afraid of what we don't know. So I went in, had a few tests and some biopsies, and it was true, man. I had cancer. I had an aggressive state of cancer. So first thing I did was I got really bummed. I got really mad. I got really sad. I got, you know, a little um, fearful about it and angry. You know, I had recently um, met the love of my life, Suzanne, out there in the audience, who's also a cancer victor, by the way. Suzanne, w wave your hand up there. Okay. And um, she was also my sound assistant, production coordinator. But I got, I was really bummed and angry. Why me? You know, why me at my age getting this thing? You know, and I've known other people that have had cancer. So what occurred was for about two weeks, I was really kind of bummed out and really, you know, mad, angry, sad, and fearful. And all of a sudden I said, wow, you know, this is not the way to be. If I want to lick this thing, I can't be angry, I can't be mad, I can't be fearful. I got to be confident, I got to be positive, I got to put some joy and, and happiness in my life because I had miracles in my life that was going on every day. So I wanted to believe that there was a reason that I had this cancer. And so all of a sudden I turned my attitude from negative to positive. Actually, I, I enjoyed having it. I would tell people I had cancer. I was saying to people, you know, I'm glad I have it and I meant it. I was really happy. I got a chance to learn about a disease. I got a chance to understand it. I got a chance to be able to, to work with conventional medicine and also use my mind to increase my immune system. You know, I've been a hypnotherapist and a neurological scientist and a brainwave tester for years. And I know what happens when you put yourself in a low brainwave frequency state that these wonderful neural mind chemicals can stimulate what's called the hypothalamic limbic system through the hypothalamus and it can increase and instill and make your immune system strong but you got to be positive you can't be negative you can't be down about it so I looked at it as a new adventure something actually I wound up enjoying if you can believe it or not I would tell people I had cancer and people would say oh man that's terrible that's awful and I'd be looking and I'm going man you guys are crazy I mean I'm glad I have it and they thought I was nuts but I wasn't I was looking at it as a positive way because I knew that if I had the right attitude, if I had the right type of medical modality to go with my mind, then I was going to beat it. I was going to win it. I was going to conquer it. I was going to destroy it. And um, so what happened was I met a radiologist, a real popular, well-known radiologist out here named Dr. Song. And so I went in for eight and a half weeks of radiation. Eight and a half weeks of radiation. And they were radiating in areas where it could have affected some of my organs and things. But uh, it was very good uh, equipment, fine-tuned equipment. Every day that I went into that radiation center, believe it or not, guys, I went in smiling and laughing. You'd think I was going on to Disneyland or to the beach or something. I went in real positive, real happy, real excited about learning this, about cancer, about removing fears about it, being positive and motivated to, to get rid of it and to get it out of my mind and body. I also saw patients in the room 
who were sad and depressed. And so I was kidding around, joking around, getting them to, to feel happy, not to, not to be so down on it and let their mind destroy them. And if you think about it winning, it's going to win. And I wanted them to realize that we're the winners and the cashier's the loser. But you got to have that right mind thought. So even the doctor, Dr. Song, said, well, you know, Tom, after eight and a half weeks of radiation, you're going to be beat. You're going to be tired. You're going to want to sleep for days and weeks and stuff. And I heard him say it, but I didn't want to believe it, you know. I just didn't want to believe that was going to happen to me because I was too positive, too motivated. And I was enjoying this new adventure. It was a new adventure for me. So I would go into the radiation uh, centers. I would uh, be, you know, having fun with the ra radiologist technicians and then my doctor. And he couldn't believe my positive attitude. After a few weeks of treatments, I was starting to feel the radiation. Food was affecting me. I was getting in a lot of pain. There were certain foods I couldn't eat, probably almost any kind of food I couldn't eat. And I was really getting in a lot of pain. Suzanne could vouch for that. But guess what, folks? I didn't let that get me down. I stayed positive. I stayed motivated. I stayed happy. You know, because I also have a relationship and a belief that there is God and that God was helping me and that I was doing all the right things in life, too, to make this thing work. So I went through the treatments. I stayed positive. Uh, I told people I had cancer because I wanted to remove these fears. You guys, it already seems like you don't have any fears over it because you know that we can beat it. We're going to find cures. But also, when I went in for the radiation, I went into that low brainwave state, that state of hypnosis, kind of like what you saw the volunteers today. You, you saw some of them really deep, right? Right? I went into that low brainwave frequency state of theta and delta, and I used my mind, and I imagined the radiation destroying, killing, defeating, neutralizing, and erasing those cancer cells, but saving my good cells. So, um, make a long story short, eight and a half weeks later, I was through with my treatment. The doctor, the radiologist said to me, Tom, he goes, man, he goes, in all my years of working with cancer patients, not survivors, cancer patients, remember, we're, we're victors. He said, I've never met someone that stayed so positive and so happy during all of this stuff. He goes, you should tell people about this. And he goes, he knew what I did because I helped people. During the time of doing radiation, I was doing private therapy, getting people off of drugs, removing fears and phobias. I was teaching advanced courses, people flying in for courses. A week after my radiation, in fact, the day I finished my radiation, I had more energy than I had when I came in, believe it or not. I wasn't tired, I wasn't weak, I was full of energy. That week, I did a halftime show for the, um, uh, the Clippers, L.A. Clippers, at Staples Center opening night. I wound up doing some events for Bradley University, Chicago Bulls, Milwaukee Bucks halftime shows. I traveled to, uh, to Holland and did a course. I just completed doing two TV uh, show segments for some reality shows. That cancer never got me down because I rose above it. I used traditional therapy, radiation, and my mind to destroy it, to conquer it, and to be a victor, not a victim. And I'm really excited about telling you my story because the cancer is gone. And I think it's real important, anyone going through cancer, get a positive attitude. Enjoy every day as a miracle. Smile, laugh, be happy. Don't let it steal your joy because it's just a dis-ease. And when it's gone, your body is at ease and healthy. So I'm Tom Silver. I am a cancer victor, conqueror, and I am very happy that I've had this experience of having cancer and being able to beat it and to go on with a wonderful quality of life. Uh, I married uh, my wife, Suzanne, during my um, radiation, and, um, and I'll tell you, my life couldn't be better. I am so grateful that I had cancer, got to learn about it, and used my mind and medicine to destroy it. Thanks. I'm Tom Silver. Thank you. Mr. Positive, ladies and gentlemen. Tom, nice. We enjoyed that. Thank you, Mr. Silver.